I'm going to talk about cropping and resizing your photos. So just to start, here we are in Photoshop and I am actually using Photoshop um, CS3 on a Mac. So it could look slightly different than yours um, if you are on a PC or if you are using CS2. However, I am only going to be using features that are in CS2. Um, so just to talk a little bit about the interface, you have your toolbar here that has all of your tools um, and that's on the left. In the middle you have um, the main stage area um, which is going to have like the photo or image that you're working on. And then on the right we have some more panels and um, we have the layers panel which you're going to work um, with a lot and should always be paying attention to what layer you're on. And then we also have the history panel which um, I'll come back and talk about that more later as well. And then at the top here you have your menus um, which is typical of any program and then we have this um, option menu right here which changes depending on which tool you are selected on because it helps to um, basically they're like preferences for the tool um, and you can basically choose different options um, that help you control how you are using the tool. Um, but we are going to go ahead and start with um, talking about cropping or resizing um, a photo. So I have a photo open here and we will notice that it is at 20% right now. Now what that means is that I'm seeing this photo only at 20% of what the actual size is. So it's, it's a pretty large photo. Now if we actually go up to image, image size, we will see that um, it's 300 30 is it's 30 sorry 3888 pixels by 2592 pixels um, you can change pixels to percent if you want it but then it just you know shows you 100 by 100 um, you can look at the document size in inches you could change it and look at you know one of the other options but we can see it's 54 inches by 36 inches which with a resolution of 17 or uh, 72 pixels per inch um, and we can see that the size is 28.8 megs now this is a pretty large file this file I took with my um, 10 megapixel camera so it produces um, a very high quality image which is very large in size. This would be great um, for printing photos with, like actually um, you know, on paper photos, but if we're doing it for the web, this is much too large um, for the web and would create like a very slow page load. Um, the, the larger your file size, the longer it's going to take to load in your web browser. So the difference between um, resizing and cropping is resizing, you're going to take the whole image and you're just going to make it smaller. Um, I don't suggest making things bigger because when you make things bigger you, you lose qu quality. So you always want to um, go down. So it's always good to start with um, you know, the highest quality you can and then work down from there. Um, and always save your original file so that you can always go back to it if you want to um, start from scratch um, later on. So here I am with this large image. I'm going to go into image size where I just was and I'm going to make it smaller. I can do this by doing pixels or by doing inches. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do pixels because let's say I want to put it on my web page and I know that I want it to be 200 pixels wide. Um, it, when you have constrained proportions on down here, um, it is going to automatically adjust the height. 
so you can see it automatically adjusts the height because it's going to keep everything the same but just make it 200 pixels you can see that it went down significantly in size it was 28.8 megs now it's 78.1 k's so that's a very significant change so i can go ahead and click ok you can see it looks very small now but also it's only at 20 percent so we look down in this corner it's only displaying it at 20 percent well let's see how big it really is let's put it at 100. so this is what it looks like at 100 percent now I'm actually going to undo this change because I'm going to show you how to crop but if I wanted to just resize it to 200 pixels this is how I would do it if I just wanted to keep the whole image but like I said I'm going to undo this so go up to edit undo image size and now it's like whoa what happened but really it's because it's showing me hundred percent and it's a huge picture so I need to make it smaller um, I can tell it 20% and I know that, that automatically fits um, you can also go up to view and you could say fit on screen but my screen is bigger than my video window so that becomes a problem <laughs> that you can only see part of it you can also say um, actual pixels which is again going to bring it to 100% um, but I'm going to make it 20 so it fits in the area that I want it on the screen okay so now about cropping 